So check this out. What if I told you this coaster was created using just a few typed words and this detailed 3D printed Buddha? Well, same story. It's born from a simple text prompt, but it gets even cooler. I took this single image of Batman, nothing else, and transformed it into this awesome model. And I did not stop there. I even brought him to life, animating him to walk with all the iconic charm. And that's not even everything. You can even make finer adjustments in these 3D models and then download the file in FBX, STL, OBJ or other formats. And you can use these files in your game or you can even just simply 3D print it or maybe use it in your 3D environments. And you can do it all in just a few minutes using an AI tool called Meshi. Of course, you don't need to spend days or hours for making these things right from scratch. So if you want to learn how to do just that, stick to the end of this video and I'll show you everything in a step-by-step -step way. All right, so let's start with our first model, which is this coaster. And for that, I'm going to use this text to 3D option. So after going to meshi.ai, simply select the first option. And as you can see, I've tried quite a lot of things here, including the coaster that you just saw. And yeah, we are now going to regenerate some of the things that I've already tried. Let's start with the coaster. So we want to make it look like tree trunk. Uh, and if you know the prompts, well, you can add it directly here in this text to 3D option. Or if you are feeling extra lazy, you can use chat GPT as well. So let's maybe try chat GPT this time. So for that, I'm going to open a new tab, chat GPT and enter. All right. Now here, I've already downloaded an image and I'm going to ask chat GPT to generate a prompt that will make our coaster look exactly like that image. So here is the image that I want to use as a reference. Now I don't want to use this image directly. Rather, I just want to generate a prompt using this. So I'll go to this upload option and let's just upload that image. All right, now create a prompt for generating this model or this 3D coaster using Meshi AI tool. All right. And then enter and we got a prompt. Now this one is very detailed prompt. So I'm going to just copy it and I'll use it here. Now, as I mentioned, you don't need to generate even a prompt. You can write down all the details yourself, but I was feeling extra lazy. So I tried that. Now here we have the latest Meshi 5 preview available. So I'm going to use that, but you can change it to Meshi 4 if you want a different model for this. Also for the license type, I'll select private. If you want to keep it public, use Creative Commons license. Symmetry, well, we'll leave it at auto, even though it's not very symmetrical. So you can keep it off, but I'll leave it at auto. Now, if you want to add fixed seed number, you can use this option, toggle it, add the number or let Meshi decide. In this case, I'll let Meshi decide this and I'll click on generate. Now it will consume 10 credits. So let it do the work. So it took about a minute to generate this and the results are here. So we've got three of these options here. And honestly, I don't like none of these results. So let's wait for the fourth one. And of course, that's not what we want. So if you don't like the result, you can always try it for free. So click on free retry and it will generate it again. And here's the result. Now this won't consume any extra credits when you are retrying. And in this case, I think this last one is very interesting shape. And I'm really looking at the shapes here because I want to 3D print it. And I simply don't want just the textures. Now, even though after adding textures, this will look amazing, but I think we can use this or even this one. Maybe let's try this. All right. So once you have finalized it, you can now add textures. Now for adding the textures, it's going to use the same prompt that you've used and you can now make these settings. For example, you can use the poly count. It could be fixed. You can select number of counts. You can select the topology, either quad or triangle. When you select quad, it will be easier to modify it later. Triangle has more details, but it's well, little difficult to modify it. In this case, I will leave it at quad. And of course I want to generate the texture. So I'll select yes. And now once again, it's going to use 10 credits for this. So with that, I'll click on confirm. And here it is the final result. 
and it looks superb as you can see very realistic textures and if you want to use it in any environment well feel free to you can use it in your renderings in the architectural scenes games but if you feel like you still need to modify it there are some options that you can try and these options are right here we'll look into these options later using a character but now I'm just going to download it because we want to 3d print this so click on download and we have all these options in this case I'll use STL and then download now we can obviously resize it here but I'll leave that for our slicer software okay let's make something interesting to 3d print not just a coaster and for that I'm gonna just use well statue of a simple buddha so here buddha serenity that's the pose which you'll often see which kind of looks like this so that's the pose that we want to get okay let's try it so buddha serenity with the default settings generate and here are some of the results that it generated so it looks good but let's maybe give it a free retry and let's see what else it can generate so i'll click on free retry hmm. and i'm not even happy with this result so let's try it one more time and here we have more results now i think this is the one that i'm going to keep here because that looks i mean the face is clear and everything else looks really good here so i'll just keep this and with that let's click on confirm and here is the final result which looks amazing so now i don't need the textures so i just need the stl file so i'm going to go and download this so click on download stl and there we are and by the time this is downloading let's open our slicer software so i'm going to go to import and here we have the buddha and let's just import it now this model which we got here is really big we just need to fix its size that's the first thing so i'll just go to scale and let's just scale it down now it's still big so let's go to scale again and scale it down further okay now the error is gone and it is perfectly here on the print bed okay looks great uh, we may need to make a few changes here well the first is the material and all the other settings which I'm not gonna go over and also maybe I'll change the color here because I'm using multicolor printer so I'll just add black color here and I'll use white PLA to print this so after making all the adjustments that you need to make in this file simply send it over to 3d printer and here it is printing it with white PLA now this will take about six hours to finish and I also made some finer adjustments before I started 3d printing this model so after all the final adjustments and 3d printing let's see how it's gonna look here is the final 3d printed model with all the supports and everything of course we just need to clean the support so let's just clean the supports quickly and here is the final 3d printed model and we started with simple text prompt and in the end we got this real 3d printed part right in our hands so it's as easy as that you don't need to make it from scratch you don't need to spend days or hours to build this you can now do it using simple text prompt so the next is step is trying a different model for that I'll click on meshy and this time I'm gonna use image to 3d so essentially you can add a seed image and meshy will use that image to generate a 3d model now in this case I will create Batman so let's drag and drop this Batman image here and of course we can get rid of this tab so here is the image and now with the default settings I'll click on generate and here we are so we've got the final result now in this case again we have four of these options to select from and i think we have the best result here so i'll just select this and again with the default settings i'll click on confirm and here is the final result as you can see this really looks amazing now if you want to modify it and really want to make some changes well you can do that using some of the options that are available here for example you can use AI texture editing to add textures in a specific areas for example maybe I'll just close this first and I'll zoom in and let's say we want to change the shoes here and uh, we want a different kind of shoes so for that I'll go to AI texture editing and let's just 
mark the area so i'll select this and also i'll select this area and add the prompt here what do you want to see so we want to see here sports shoes and let's just make it really well different blue and red stripes all right let's retexture it and finally here is the result it seems like batman has decided to upgrade his wardrobe so here it looks impressive actually so you can select from any of these options and i think i like the first one so with that i'll select apply to model and it's applying it here and it is done so the new model of batman looks like this okay now if you feel like it has some imperfections that you maybe want to fix well you can do that as well and to fix it you can go to this smart healing option that's going to show you the zoomed in view so i zoomed that view all right and it seems like here is a little bit of imperfection so i'll just select that part and i'll click on smart healing and that's going to heal that area and it's done similarly if you want to heal it from different angles just apply it to the model rotate it around and then fix it all right we are not yet done with this model let's bring life to this model and to do that we can rig it and animate it so here is the rig option you can just select rigging and it needs to be a humanoid character for rigging to work and it is humanoid so yeah it's selected then click on next and if you feel like its symmetry matches this one then yeah that's fine else you can just rotate it around offset change the height to match it and then click on next now these are some of the points that you need to add all of these markers should be where they are so that's the shoulder marker this one is for elbow this one is for wrist that's for knee this one is for ankle all right that's done now click on confirm and now it's again rigging and by the time it's rigging this you can see the library of animation here so these are all the different animations that you can directly apply to your model so the default action is applied you can zoom it around you can rotate it and you can see it currently in action all of this we achieved with nothing but just a simple image isn't it really great that you can now make this thing in minutes that would just take days or weeks to create finally there is a community of really great models that you can also try so you can go to community and these are user generated assets that you can download and use it in your game in your 3d environment or anywhere you like so that was all about using meshi to generate image to 3D or text to 3D models using AI. You can sign up now using the link in the description and start making your own 3D models. Also, let me know what you want me to cover in the next video and I'll see you soon in another one.